Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to verify your whole B HTX account. Okay, so the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Hobby account, which of course I have done right here. Now let's quickly know a thing or two about HTX. HTX is a leading crypto exchange platform. It is one of the world's biggest Bitcoin exchanges and altcoin crypto exchanges. You can buy BTC, ETH, HT, and more on HTX. As you can see, it's a straight crypto only on HTX. That's such a proud statement to make, by the way. So if you want to verify your your HTX wallet, of course, you know, HTX is also the same as um, Huobi. So if you want to verify that, quickly head over to the top right corner of your screen here where you have your profile picture. As you can see, this is my profile picture. I have my UID and you have Prime, DMC and C's unverified. You have my few aids and all of the stuff, but then C is unverified. So go ahead and click on that unverified button. And it's going to take you to the ID verification window where we're going to follow through with the processes to verify this account. Because once you verify your HTS account, you're going to have access to more features. You're going to have, you're going to be able to withdraw, you're going to be able to transfer and all of those things that you need to do on HTX. Your verification process must be completed to have access to the, all of those features. So now you have um, personal verification, you have the institutional verification. If it's personal verification, you can make trades as an individual and say provide your individual information. Or if you're using the institution, uh, make trades as an enterprise, please provide your enterprise credentials. So let's say I'm using this for personal use. Now go ahead and click on the verify now button. And it takes you here. So you have this um that's the country region email id type id number and you have the basic permissions you have basic verification advanced verification and investment capability assessment so you can see all of the privileges you're going to get so privileges after verification privileges after verification withdraw and all of these things so go ahead and okay it says level one that's the basic permissions now i can click on this very final button to start your verification process so here into your nationality and your last name your first name and your date of birth so choose your nationality i'm going to say united kingdom and then your last name just put in your last name that's mark and your first name Amanda. So you're gonna have to enter your date of birth in here. I'm just gonna choose something else that is random and okay. So you have to be above 18 years of age. So apply to become a Dominica Dominica metaverse digital citizen i'm not going to do that so click on submit but if you want to apply just just go ahead and feel free so you can see this is loading up once that done it's just going to take us to the next step so it says level one verification successful so enter the next level that's the level two basic verification. So click on basic ver verify now button. So once you're done with a level, it takes you to the next level, it takes you to the next level until you have completed all the steps in here. So let's move to basic verification. may not be able to go through all the levels of verifications all right so after this basic verification we're going to see that if that is unlocked successfully you're just going to have to enter the advanced verification on your own or at your own time and it's it's still self-explanatory
So this window is loading up. So we're in here. We're in here. So this is ID card requirements. So phone done right. So use your original government issue document. Step two, place the ID against a single colored background. Step three, photo must be clear, unblocked, and without glare. Step four, no black and white photos. So that's for the ID. You can also use, you can choose passport or you can choose driver's license, whichever one that is cool for you. So you can even upload the photos. That's the ID card form photo and then the ID back card back photo. Once you do that, go ahead and click on submit. Now, after submit, it's going to take you to the other levels of verification that you need to go through, which are very basic and self-explanatory. So once you're done with all of the levels, you'll see that your account will be completely verified. And I can go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.